This is Sherry at djsunderdotblogspot.com and the last time we were together we made cards um, for soldiers or sailors or servicemen and women and today I just wanted to make the envelope um, more interesting and pretty. So um, for today I'm going to use the same set of stamps that I used yesterday, the Freedom Isn't Free set from um, K. Andrew Designs. And then um, I've already stamped my image. I used the fired brick just as we did in the card to stamp my image. Now these are mix and match sentiments, so I actually used two. It says serving proudly, standing tall, thank you for serving and answering the call. And it's a bit smudgy, but it reminds you of like a dog tag feel. And that's just the way this one comes across. So let me get started on this um, envelope. Now it just takes a few minutes to really make something special. Sometimes you just don't have the time, but today I wanted to take the time to do that. So the first thing I have is I have a frame. Now yesterday I used this, I used the stand and salute cartridge and today the, I also did. And this time I cut the frame at three and a quarter inches and I used the honor button on the frame. So it's a three in it, used on my Cricut, I just set the dial size to three and a quarter inches and that gave me this frame that says honor on it. So let's start with the frame. I want to kind of tone down that bright gold a little bit and to do that I am going to use the faded brick um, distressing. Now on that's pretty much all I used yesterday. No, I also used the, um, sorry, I used the faded jeans um, also. So I have the fired brick and the faded jeans. And I'm just knocking off some of that bright, bright gold color but and adding just a little bit of dimension to my frame. And now we're going to move to the envelope. Again, we're going to do use the same colors and we're just going to just stress the edges. Now I'm coming in quite a ways. Um, I wanted to use the cream colored envelopes because that's the color I used um, on the card base that's going in here. Um, but I wanted just to make it um, just interesting. So I'm just distressing around the edges, blending those two colors together, the faded jeans and the fired brick. And there we have it. Now that would probably even that looks better than just the plain envelope. And of course you couldn't do this completely like this if you were mailing it because you would have to do, um, you would have to um, have a place to put your address. But for hand delivering it or to send to Operation Right Home for any hero mail, you can do this and just um, add that extra dimension to your project. Now I've got my um, zig pin here and I am just gluing around the edges. And you notice I just kind of swirled around. That's the beauty of having this mat, this ranger mat because um, I can just wipe it clean and I will in just a minute I'll show you how I do that. So now we're just going to center that over our phrase. Before I put it down I'm going to make sure that it's how I would like it. Okay. And then just make sure it's all adhered well because I don't want it coming apart either in a box or in my purse or wherever it is that I'm going to be carrying it around. So here we have our, our envelope, serving proudly, standing tall, thank you for serving and answering the call. And when we look at our card, it will fit right inside of there, just like that. So here's a card from yesterday's post and here's our envelope. So thanks for watching and have a great day.